Today is September 27, 2012. We've had a little bit of a disaster overnight. Um, what had happened was, let me just show you real quick. Um, go over here to the bell siphon. This is where the problem was. I just found it. Uh, basically, all these roots right here, these are roots from what I believe is the zucchini plant. And um, what happened was these uh, clogged the bell siphon. Um, I, where'd the bell siphon go? We're going to get the bell siphon here and we'll show you what happened. But basically these roots, cl these roots clogged the bell siphon hole and uh, caused it to clog up. Wouldn't allow it to drain. And these holes down here, it was filled with, with uh, roots. I think it's of the zucchini plants. And what happens is the only place for water to go down is through that pipe and so when those holes are clogged there really isn't a way the the air was trapped in there and it was keeping the water from going in this bed overflowed all night long uh, we lost um, about uh, 275 gallons of water last night it totally drained my rain tank which if it wasn't for the rain tank I probably would have had uh, low water sooner and possibly burned my pump out so we caught it this morning I'm glad I saw it but uh, basically what it's looking like over here um, the tank is completely empty now. We just have that much water and um, we are working on, uh, we had to start cycling the water. The fish weren't getting a lot of oxygen there. They were gulping at the surface, uh, but now they seem to be doing fine. So they just had a, uh, a, a small period of time there where there wasn't a lot of oxygen. So they're getting oxygen. Uh, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to add, since we have chloramine in our water, that's chlorine and ammonia. I'm going to be adding a quarter cup of this uh, to my my rain tank. I'm, going to, I'm filling that up with tap water since I am totally out of water now. And um, I'm going to add a quarter cup of that. And that will take out all the chlorine and, and ammonia. And will make the water clean for the fish. So then we'll have to start filling the tank back up with this water. Um, it's kind of a bummer because, man, this... The system was doing great. I mean, it was cycling really nice. I mean, it stabilized at about 6.9, 7.0 pH, and um, everything's been going really nice. And uh, you know, something small like this just goes to show you something like this can uh, change something overnight and really do some damage. So it's important to have some safety, um, some safety precautions in place. Have, having a a second pump. For backup attached to a battery is something that I'm working on getting. Um, it's something that I would like to do. So this is going to encourage me a little bit more. It's only been a month and the plants are just doing fantastic as you can see but the roots uh, got into the bottom um, um, reservoir over here where the bell siphon's at. So well, we're gonna take care of it and everything's okay the fish are alive so everything is good but uh, just a hiccup that we have to work through and uh, that's why it's important to always check your system and make sure that things are always going smooth so thanks for watching Mike's Aquaponics we'll uh, tune back soon bye